Welcome to San Diego's most popular local morning news. Good morning, San Diego. And good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Dan Plant. Hi, everyone. I'm Sandra Moss. It's Wednesday, January 28th. Yes, and as new layoffs are being reported every single day, more and more people, of course, are out there looking for new skills. And that's why San Diego City College is 37 different job certificates. They have them anyway. Dave Davis at City College to explain it all. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, guys. I, I, there is a lot of excitement going on here at 7 o'clock in the morning. We, are, <laughs> we can hear. I mean, I am telling you, it, it is rocking back here. We are at the actually San Diego Continuing Education educational cultural complex campus there's six of them around town and the best news of all it is free to come here i said free yes it's a uh, best kept secret in san diego joining me this morning is uh anthony bb dr anthony bb he heads up this whole program good morning good morning david thank you for coming i'm so glad you're here and i kid you not we came in here and there's a lot of energy going on here well it's our first day of classes and as you said this is the best kept secret in san diego and we are so excited to be able to have you here to get that secret out we have six campuses throughout san diego we serve about a hundred thousand students every year and like you say the classes are free so in this kind of a job market where people are wanting to come back and get retrained and retooled and reskilled for a new job, a new career, if they happen to be displaced from a job, this is the place to come. We offer 25 certificate programs in all kinds of career options. You can become a chef, you can become a, a welder like you see in the background, you can become an auto technician, a certified nursing assistant, and on and on and on. This is the place to come and it's all free as you say. And no one is shut out. You don't have to have qualifications to sign up for something like this. That's the thing. Four-year institutions work really hard to screen people out. We work really hard to get people in. Mm -hmm. Now, where does the money come from? We talk about it's free. I mean, it's taxpayers' uh, money being used, right? Well, I'm glad you asked that. It is supported by the California system of higher education. And in the wisdom of the legislators back then, uh, they decided that, that this was something to, to invest in uh, relative to our, our workforce development areas and so on and so forth. So that's, it comes from the, the state of California. All right, Dr. We're going to talk to you a, a moment again in about a half hour or so. But let's go back here. This is uh, Bill Berinsky. He is... Uh, Heading up this welding class, good morning. Good morning, how are you this morning, sir? Good, now just talk about this particular, this is just one of many programs, but uh, welding in particular is, is a, a, a pun, no pun intended, a hot item right now. Right now, it is a hot item. You know, latest uh, statistics show that we're gonna have about a 200,000 employee shortage, so we're prepping for that. We have our, our five courses here at the school, they're all 600 hour programs, and they get you prepared at all of the different types of processes that are used in welding from the shielded metal arc, gas metal arc, gas mm -hmm. tungsten arc, uh, the, the flux core, which is important, the pipe welding, and also a structural fabrication program. So we have a, a, a waiting list for our programs in particular because of the fact that we have so many people coming in, but again, limited resources. Right now we're running approximately 52 students full time in the day and approximately 42 at night. Now people at home right now might say, but there's no jobs out there. What are you talking about? But this isn't for today necessarily. This is to get that training when the economy does pick back up. Welding is expected to be a, a big job. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at the transportation industry, welding is needing. You look at the shipbuilding industry, welding is needing. You look at the construction industry, welding is needed. You look at any manufacturing, whether it's light materials or heavy materials, the main method of fastening materials together is welding so again we, we don't realize it we don't think about it but everything we pretty much touch every day is some type of welding have been applied to it and you don't teach just generic stuff either you have like contracts with nasco right and, and they actually tell you exactly what they need and that's the way you work well we have an advisory committee which nasco is one of the key players mm -hmm. on there and they come to us annually and say this is what we want your students to be capable of doing when they've completed their program they drive our programs, they tell us what we need. They are also tremendous supporters of our program with donations of uh, you know, resources from electrodes to materials. So again, depending with this environment that we're in with the economy, mm -hmm. that type of advisory committee member is just outstanding for us. All right, Bill, thank you very much. I'm gonna re reach right over here and talk to one of your students. Good morning, what's your name? Jamal Boyd. Now, Jamal, just tell me your situation. Uh, you came back, obviously, to get some welding skills. Uh, yes. Um, to get into the work environment and uh, hone in on some skills that I could probably make a decent living with. Now, are, are you working right now or are you uh, unemployed? Unemployed. Unemployed and you decided that, hey, it's free courses and I need a skill. Yes. All right, and this is working out for you. Is this your first class now or you've been doing this a while? Uh, this is going on my second class. I've uh, completed the stick, shoot a metal arc welding, and now I'm into the, uh, the gas metal arc welding. All right, well, and, and this is what you want to do as a profession. You want to get into the welding industry? Yes. 
right. Thank you very much for talking to us. I appreciate it. And I'm going to move away here so I don't get burned. But we're going to come back in the next half hour as well, talk more about the different programs because there are tons of programs here being offered. And uh, one of the key elements, of course, is it is free. And in these times when uh, the economy is so, so hurting out there, it is perhaps a good time to come back to school and get pick up that extra skill or or any skill whatsoever that you might be interested in while the times are bad and when they turn around and get better you'll have that necessary skill all right uh, dan and sandra back to you but like i said man there's energy going on in every direction here that's good to see it's good to see some activity yeah, it is and you're absolutely. absolutely right if it's slow right now get that skill and when things pick up you'll have you'll have a career great strategy thank you david <laughs> all right we'll see you in a little bit okay, okay. As new layoffs are being reported every day, more people are looking for new skills. And there are some great places out there to find that new skill. And as Dave Davis is going to show us right now, this might be a good time to do it. Good morning. You know, and it's an amazing thing, too. Until today, I didn't realize all this is free, absolutely free. You can come here and get uh, uh, certain skills, a lot of different skills, and uh, you don't have to pay a dime, and everybody qualifies. Anybody can come here. We are at the San Diego Continuing Education the Educational Cultural Complex uh, campus here. There's six locations throughout San Diego, six different campuses. Joining me this morning is the, the Dean, Jane Senyago Cox, to tell us more about it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Now How this, are you today? Good. This really is, I mean, it's, it's in just about any skill you want, you have available here. Absolutely. Absolutely. We do a lot of trade training. Uh, the skills we're trying to do is, is not theory so much, but hands-on. They're learning actual practice of doing a trade job in the area of graphics or electronics or auto technology or, or being a chef. Mm -hmm. So there's a number of them. And one, for instance, of what we're in right now, this is the electronic pre-press room where they're, they're, they're learning the uh, different skills. And then we're going to head into the commercial printing area in just a moment. But uh, we were just talking that there are so many skills out there, so many jobs, I should say, out there that people don't understand. You don't need a four-year degree. Absolutely. In the top 50 jobs that are nationwide, the majority of them do not require a college degree. It does require some skill set after high school. And that's what we offer here. These are uh, hands-on programs that are, are short-term. You get a certificate that's backed up by the industry that we're representing. Mm -hmm. And you have a relationship with a lot of companies out there that say, hey, we need this, we need that, and, and they'll come to you and say, okay, this is what you need to be teaching these people. Absolutely. They help us. They're on our advisory boards. They help us make sure that our curriculum is uh, up to date as to what their needs are so that we're training what they're needing their employees to have. All right, Jane, thank you very much for visiting with us. We're going to walk back through here uh, to the commercial printing area, and Jim Laramie is a professor here that we're going to be talking to, but, but uh, several things to keep in mind. Uh, once again, it, all of this that you're seeing is done. You can come here at any point. You don't have to, like classes start today, but you don't have to be here today. And Jim, maybe you can talk about that a little bit. You don't have to be here today for the first day of classes. It's something that you can come and go. No, you don't. This is an open entry class. We have You can come in, join any time, and when you have your time and projects in, you can go ahead and exit the class. All right, now, what are these, what are these folks doing? Uh, we have people over here right now running our, our duplicator presses. So uh, that's the great thing about our classroom is it's a real-world work environment. They're actually working on live projects right now. And some of these, of course, are the old-timey printing presses, but that's still be, they're still being used. On the other side of the room here, you do have digital as well. Uh, yes, we do. And the thing is, is uh, these are still very uh, common presses in the trade. These are used every day. We don't have anything in this classroom that they won't run into uh, out in the real world. So what type of jobs in the real world are we talking about here? Uh, we have people here that are running duplicator presses. We have uh, electronic pre-press at the classroom that you just came out of. Those people are preparing files, so those files can come over here and run on the presses over here. So, uh, you know, you have electronic pre-press. People are training for uh, uh, electronic setup or other files. Those files come over here, and then they run on the presses. All right, Jim, thank you very much. Jim Laramie, professor here, uh, uh, one of many professors here at the San Diego Continuing Education. And once again, we're at the Educational Cultural Complex campus here. Uh, you've got the uh, website there on the screen for you, hopefully, that uh, you can just uh, find out more information. But once again, it is absolutely free. Anybody can come here. It doesn't matter if you have a job, don't have a job, young, old, educated, not educated. It is absolutely free. And in these times of tough economic times, perhaps it is a skill that uh, you can obtain and get out there in the real world when times get a little bit better. You'll be ready for it. Dan and Sandra, back to you. And of course, free is the right price, right? 
I, you know, I, I'm just phenomenal. shocked yeah. that, that what they have to offer here is absolutely free. You're right. Yep. Yeah. But time is money. So any time you take to learn a skill is, you know, you're taking, you're taking your time. Could yes. be doing. But it's a great, great opportunity. David, thanks for sharing. Appreciate it. All right. Sure. Okay.